When you're a top five pick in the NBA draft, people expect you to become great players. Some players end up living up to the hype while others don't. Usually when certain players don't, they get criticized for it, but some players have been able to fly under the radar. In this video, we're going to look at players you probably forgot were top five picks. In 2007, the Seattle Supersonics took Kevin Durant with the second pick and drafted Jeff Green with the fifth overall pick. When they picked Jeff Green, they was looking to create a duo with him and KD, but he didn't live up to the hype. He wasn't that bad though. He was averaging 14 points and 6 rebounds, shooting 44% from the field before he got traded to the Boston Celtics. The next season after he got traded, he had to get heart surgery missing the whole 2011-12 season. He was able to bounce back and play two seasons with them. After that, he bounced around the NBA playing for several other teams. Those teams include the Grizzlies, Clippers, the Magic, Cleveland, Washington, Utah Jazz, and now the Houston Rockets. This season with the Rockets, he's averaging 10 points and 3 rebounds, shooting 62% from the field, 41% from 3, and 80% from the free throw line. Him being a solid role player is the reason why he's been able to stay in the NBA this long. I think many people forget that Evan Turner was the second overall pick in the 2010 draft. Coming out of Ohio State, he had a lot of high expectations. He was really getting compared to Brandon Roy coming out of college. But unfortunately, he didn't live up to the comparison at all. He was traded in his fourth year to the Indiana Pacers, but was barely with them only playing 27 games before he got traded to Boston. He did two years there, did three years with the Portland Trailblazers, and now he's with the Atlanta Hawks. This might be his last season in the NBA though, because he didn't play that well this season. He averaged 3 points, 2 rebounds, and 2 assists, shooting 37% from the field. But hey, at least he can say he dropped LeBron. Not too many people could say they done that. And he does have a couple of game winners under his belt. against Lopez, Evan Turner gets it back, Turner rolling in! Get in there! Yeah! Otto Porter Jr. was the third pick in the 2013 draft over guys like Giannis and CJ McCollum. He hasn't been a bad NBA player, but he isn't playing the way a third pick is expecting to play. So far in his career, he's averaging 11 points and 5 rebounds, shooting 48% from the field, 40% from 3, and 78% from the lock. People know him best for the max contract he signed that he didn't deserve. He really signed a 4-year, $106 million contract with the Wizards. I don't know what they was thinking when they offered him that. He played solid with the Bulls this season, but I don't see him being anything more than a role player at this point in his career. I don't think enough people remember that Tristan Thompson was the 4th overall pick for the Cavs in 2011. At the time, he was the highest drafted Canadian born player in NBA history until Anthony Bennett and Andrew Wiggins were selected the first overall pick in 2013 and in 2014. People know him more for his past relationship with Khloe Kardashian than his actual play on the court. For his career, he's averaging 9 points and 8 rebounds in 28 minutes per game. He hasn't really added anything to his game since he got into the NBA. Although he's been in Cleveland his whole career, I don't see him being there much longer since he's been in a lot of trade talks. But these are two things I'll never forget from him. Foul. West was hit with a technical right away. And then Thompson going. But if David West does not get that first technical, that's a double technical right there on both of those guys. Even though LeBron's gone, we still got a very talented ball club. And we're, you know, we're, we still see ourselves as a playoff team. At the end of the day, like T. Lou said, we're still four-time Eastern Conference champions. So until you take us down from that, teams ain't got much to say. Dante Exum was so hyped up before the 2014 NBA Draft. He was in commercials and all of that before he played one NBA game. So the Utah Jazz took him fifth hoping he would change their franchise, but he couldn't. He had to deal with injuries, now he's on the Cavs playing decent, but he isn't playing like a top 5 pick. He's averaging 5 points and 2 rebounds, shooting 48% from the field. He's a great defender for his position, but that's about it. When it comes to offense, he just doesn't have it and probably never will. Luckily, the Jazz got a steal in Donovan Mitchell. 
Dragon Bender was taken fourth overall in the 2016 draft. He played really bad his rookie year, only averaging three points and two rebounds, shooting 35% from the field. Now he's currently with the Golden State Warriors, but he's probably not going to be there for too long. He was supposed to be a solid stretch four that could put the ball on the floor and shoot the three, but he hasn't been able to do none of that so far in his career, and many people isn't even talking about it like that. Mario Hazenja is another international prospect that was overhyped. The Orlando Magic took him fifth in the 2015 draft. For his career so far, he's averaging seven points and three rebounds, shooting 42% from the field, 32% from three, and 81% from the line. This isn't bad, but it's not what he was projected to be. He's still young though, and has some time to change his career around. LeBron with five seconds, driving on Hazonia. Hazonia with the block! 6'8", in a hurry, stuffing it, and the football got there late. As Mike alluded to, watch the contact. Should have been a foul call. There he stares him down. Those are the top five picks I think people don't talk about enough for underperforming. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more vids. Peace.